there are subtle signs which which uh, uh, need to be picked up so for uh, metaphor if someone some child is having a platelet disorder okay then usually these platelet bleeds are more likely to be superficial bleeds so skin bleeds the 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 parents will notice that this child whenever there is a small injury even a minor trauma or the skin rub somewhere this child develops sort of ecchymosis okay so more prone for uh, uh, these skin bleeds even with minor insults Okay. So this is just the first suggestion that yes, um, there might be some underlying bleeding disorder or if accidentally, I mean kids while playing, they get injured and uh, the bleeding is, uh, the clotting is taking longer than the expected duration. That is also a suggestion that there might be something wrong with this particular child, which is not letting the blood clot form uh, on time. Uh, and apart from this, there are some other uh, features which uh, we need to look for. I would give a very classical example of, of hemophilia. Uh, as, as we might be aware, uh, World Hemophilia Day is around the corner. Uh, so hemophilia is a very common disorder in our country and, and across the globe, where uh, uh, because of the deficiency of one of the clotting factor, the blood clot is not formed as it should form. Uh, and that is why the bleeding is delayed. Usually these kids manifest in the form of uh, uh, bleeding inside the joint. So as the child is moving, crawling, we very often see that in the ankle joint or the knee joint because of those uh, crawling movements, these joint develops uh, uh, a bleed uh, inside the joints. So these are the manifestations which uh, someone can look for to, to identify these uh, bleeding disorders early and to intervene early.